Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light girl vicky on vicky loves you cuz i do, do do and you've already saw part one of my story of when i started youtube why i started youtube how i started youtube you got the deet you got the t so what i like to do when i show something a part of like something about my life i want to encourage you so i want to add a motivational video towards that so basically that video was about starting something new so starting something that might scare you starting something that you're passionate about but failure the fear of failing is stopping you or what people are gonna think so if you need motivation in that department then definitely continue watching okay. i know what you're feeling girl bro whatever i know how you're feeling i know what's going through your head i i've been there i was there i'm still there and what i just want to motivate with you is if you are scared of failing if you're scared of what people are going to think of you if you're scared of not being good at what you're trying to do if you're scared of it just going south and stealing your identity don't be scared don't don't let that stop you because what if you do dive in what if you take that step of faith what if god is calling you to that platform what if god is calling you to do that certain thing so you can make an impact on the kingdom of god and this thing that i want to tell you is if you don't do it someone else will i know that is harsh but that's something that needs to be said because at the end of the day, we all have a calling over our life. We all have a destiny. But if you don't accept that call, God will give that call to someone else. The only difference is y'all will do it differently, but y'all will still make the same impact. So when I was listening to a podcast, Mommy Millionaire, I'll leave it down in the description box below. She, that was one thing that really caught my eye. And she says, if you don't do it, someone else will do it. The only difference is they won't do it how you would do it, but they'll still do it. The only difference between you and that person is they took that step of faith. And that like blew my mind because all those people that like YouTube, those famous YouTubers, the difference between me and them is they kept doing it regardless of how many views they're going regardless of how many shares they were getting regardless of it how their makeup look they just kept going them they're consistent they're they're trying different ways to get more views they're investing their time because they see they see that picture of them being a big influencer in the youtube um realm you know what i'm saying so what I want to leave with you is some scriptures because I always got want to go back to scriptures. So the scriptures that I want to leave with you is Jeremiah 29 11, Job 8 7, 2 Timothy 1 7. So we're just going to read them a little bit. Yeah, I know. But get your Bible out because that's what we're going to be doing. So we'll start with Job 8 7. So Job 8 7 says, and though you started with little, you will end with much. And I believe that's a promise that God gives us. When you start with little, you will end with much. And it not might not be financially, but it also it might be like just having a house, you know, um, having your family saved, having it. Much doesn't always have to be about money. It can be about your kids being healthy, you having, you know, no regrets in life. And I believe that's a promise and I stand by that promise that I might start with a little, but I will end with much. I will end making an impact for the kingdom of God. So the next one is um, Jeremiah 29 11, which is always talked about, but I feel like people don't take it very seriously which they should because it is a promise from God that says for I know the plans I have for you says the Lord they are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope that right there God tells you I have a plan for you so 
what you gotta do is God already did what he needed to do. What you need to do is take that step of faith and believe that vision that God has put in your head and in your heart and go after it. The only person that's gonna stop you from reaching your destiny is yourself. Don't blame it on your parents' mistakes. Don't blame it on your situation. If you're dead broke, don't use that as an excuse because if God's on your side, nothing is impossible. Okay? Okay. I'm gonna preach for a little bit now. Just kidding. And then the last one is 2 Timothy 1 7, which everyone should memorize. And it says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self discipline. That is a promise from God that He has not given us a spirit of fear. If you ever feel fearful of doing something, that is the devil. You better tell him, Satan, you are a defeated Satan. You need to shut up. Go away because God did not give me a spirit of fear. God gave me a spirit of power, of love, and self-discipline. And you hold on to that. If you are being a procrastinator, you say, no, I am not a procrastinator. I am self-disciplined with God's help. And don't ever lose that little bit of those words, God's help. You're never going to do it on your own. I'm sorry, you're not. And if you do end up being successful and doing it on your own, you're going to be empty. And I promise you that. So do it with God. Do it God's way. But take action. Just take that one step and I'll be rooting you all the way. I'll, re I'll be rooting for you all the way. Let me know in the comments below what step you're taking. I would love to be your cheerleader and I hope y'all can be my cheerleader while I am on this big journey of YouTube. Hope this motivates you guys and I'll, I want to always end with all my motivational videos with a prayer just to get you, get, just, just to set you off on the right path so bow your heads close your eyes look at yourself in the mirror whatever you gotta do just let's begin so father god i just thank you for today i just thank you for everything that you've done in my life and what you have done in this individual that is watching his life i thank you jesus that you're going to do amazing and amazing things in their life and my life father that you are just going to open doors that no man can open and you're going to shut the doors that need to be shut father i pray that you are going to um start a fire within the Vicky Loves You crew, that they are going to go all in with you, Jesus, and that they're going to go and get off the boat and go after the call that you have called them to do, Father, that they are going to go to their destiny, Father, that they're not going to let anyone else do it but them because you have called them to do it, Father. They are going to answer the call in the name of Jesus. And Father, we give you all glory and all honor, Father, and we believe these scriptures that you say you have we, you have a plan for us, for it is not for disaster but to prosper us, Father. And you said that we start with a little, but we're going to end with more. And we stand on that promise as well, Father. And we pray, Father, that whenever we are fearful, Father, that we cast it out in the name of Jesus. Because you have called us for power, self-discipline, and love. And I, we thank you ahead of time for all that you have done and what you have instilled in us. And we give you all glory and all honor. In Jesus' name, we pray. And everyone says, Amen. Amen. Alright guys, well I love you guys, I'm praying for you guys, and bye!